Hey friends, welcome back to Life Marketing, the channel for all things digital marketing to help small businesses grow. In today's video, we're going to design Google Display Ads. Now, there's multiple image sizes for Google Display Ads, and the websites that show your ad will ultimately decide which ad size will be featured. What's important is for all of the ad sizes you prepare, you have to make sure three key things are visible. Number one is your key image. This can either be your product or service image. Number two is your message. Google Display Ads will appear in different possible areas in a web page. Be sure you set your message as eye-catching and visually appealing as possible. As it goes for any ad you design, your goal is to catch your potential customer's attention. Number three is your CTA button. Buy now, learn more, visit website. Of course, an ad graphic wouldn't be complete without a call to action button. Giving your audience direction on what the ad is inviting them to do and what clicking on the ad will prompt. If you have extra space in your graphic, feel free to add your brand logo in there. But essentially, you want to feature more of the product image itself rather than your brand since the goal is to promote your product. So a logo isn't 100% necessary in this case. Google Display Ads take up a small portion of a web page, so it's important to utilize the space in your ad graphic and make every space you take up count. With that said, let's go ahead and jump into Canva and design our ad. Once you have their homepage opened, click on the Create a Design button over here, click on Custom Size, and let's make one for the display ad size 300 by 250 pixels. In previous design guides, we've created graphics for a mock coffee brand called Coffee Cat, and that's what we'll be using for this design guide as well. At this point, you can either assemble your own design from a blank canvas using Canvas Library of Elements, or you can use any of their available preset designs here on their Templates tab and edit it according to what fits your branding and featured product or service best. Use colors, fonts, textures, and elements that suit your branding. Once you're happy with the design, and you've made sure it has the three key elements we previously mentioned, let's go ahead and adjust the design for other sizes. The top most performing Google display ad sizes are 300 by 250 pixels, which is the size we've just designed, 336 by 280, 336 by 280 pixels, 728 by 90 pixels, 300 by 600 pixels, and 320 by 100 pixels. It's important to adjust elements in your ad for each and every ad size variation because different dimensions require different positioning and sizing of elements in your graphic to ensure that your ad, whatever the size may be, features what you're promoting best. Also, before I forget, Google Display ads have to be 150 KB or less in file size. So be sure you double check your file sizes and compress any design that goes above the 150 KB limit. And now we have a complete ad set of the top most performing Google Display ad sizes. That's it for today's video. This has been another design guide by Life Marketing. If you learned anything, please give us a thumbs up and follow our channel for more essential digital marketing guides. Once again, this is Jelly. Thanks for watching. <laughs>